Good morning and welcome to WFMS. We're getting the news out to you. Franklin Middle School staff and students, who has it better than us? That's right, nobody. Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday. It is September 11th. On Wednesdays, we have early dismissal at 1.30. And as it is the 11th, that makes it an odd day. So good morning to all. Today is Wednesday, September 11th, an odd day. Take a look here. Uh, great job coming in from outside at lunch. You know, we've started implementing an updated security practice. <clears throat> students, you'll be entering the building through those metal detectors after lunch. Uh, students, we're not taking our Chromebooks or Chromebook bags or chargers or binders outside. Uh, they need to be put up in your locker before coming to the cafeteria. And through the first two days, everybody's doing an excellent job. So kudos to students for that. Want to talk a little bit about... Whoop, Go backwards a little bit, a little bit about hallway expectations. And again, this helps keep tardies down, helps keep everybody get into class on time. So we've got four hallway expectations. Number one, when we're walking in the hallways, we're staying to the right. If everybody walks on one side of the hallway, it gets clogged. But if you're walking towards your destination with purpose on the right-hand side, this will help with traffic. Secondly, we're only going to our locker at the appropriate times. All right, and that's before school, before lunch, after lunch, and at the end of the school day. When we're in the hallways, we're keeping our hands, feet, and comments to ourselves. We don't have to hug our friends and dab them up and high five. All right, you'll see them at lunch. You'll see them in class. And last but not least, we're keeping our noise level down. There are some hallways, especially coming back from lunch, that classes are going on. So we have to keep our noise level down. So thank you for helping those hallway expectations. Phones down, level up. I know it sounds like a broken record, but we still have some students that have had their parent have to come pick up their phone. So when you come into the building, phones go into that metal detect detection and we put them in the basket. And after we get through the metal detectors, we put them in our pocket or in our backpacks. And then we go to our locker and put them in our lockers. We don't stash them and our computer bag. We don't hide them in a sock. All right, phones and electronics are to be put in your locker until you exit the building after school. Eighth graders, one more time. Here's that eighth grade moving up ceremony criteria. In order to be part of moving up ceremony, you have to pass all four of your core classes. That's math, science, language arts, and history. Those four cores, first semester, and you have to pass math, science, language, arts, and history, second semester. And if you do that, you get to be part of the moving up ceremony. A little cross-country information and some nice photos there. Last week, the Falcons had three cross-country meets. Wow. And every single athlete PR'd. PR, short for personal record. This means every student got a personal record. Woo! At Granite City, Jeremiah got 28th place out of 163 boys. Excellent job, Jeremiah. And at the Rochester Invite, Srihan got second, and Jeremiah got 13th out of 226 boys. That is wonderful. A uh, little note here, Paisley got 34th out of 222 girls. Excellent job, Paisley. Great job to everyone who race. We're PRing. We're building our stamina. And I can't wait to see what this week uh, lies ahead for our students running. Great weather to run. All right, a little Scholastic Bowl. All right, got a little update here. Here are some stats on our first tournament of the year. Texas Quiz Bowl, the TBQA pre-game pre online tournament. FMS A team, Anvi, Osmi, Sanvi, and Ara finished fifth out of 16 teams. Anvi finished fifth out of, overall out of 61 players. Uh, we beat a 6-0 and team, knocking them out of first round of the single elimination, and we beat the team that finished third overall. Tons and tons of good news there. And the B team was a sign up for B, Anchi and Anders, Finished 11th overall out of 16 teams. Sina finished 9th overall out of 61 players in terms of individual points. She answered 26 questions. So very proud of our Scholastic Bowl. Think, buzz, win. Go Falcons. Good job, Coach Nofel. All right. Oops. There's that little technology help reminder. There's an orange slip that you can fill out in your AP. You let Ms. Chiquino and Mrs. Dern know that something's wrong with your laptop. We just don't go down to their classroom. So we're writing our name, tag number, and our schedule for the day, and we'll get that thing fixed. 
All right. I want to talk a little bit about the benefits of reading out loud. And the biggest one here, I know we talked about number 11, but I want to talk about number four. When you are reading out loud and you can hear yourself say those words, okay, not just the fluency, it really helps build your vocabulary. And here's a hot tip, a hot, uh, hot tip. If you see a word that you don't know while you're reading, boy, it would be really great if you look it up. So that's my hot tip for benefits of reading out loud. All right. We had a fantastic Falcon Show Choir yesterday. Fantastic Show Choir rehearsal. We'll meet again on Thursday, September 12th. We say thank you to staff for keeping our building and hallways safe. Excellent job there. Little technology reminder. We're only putting our Chromebook bag, Chromebooks in our Chromebook bag. We can also have a charger, maybe a pencil or two. Students, we want you to leave lotion, liquids, Vaseline, anything that could damage the laptop, anything that could damage the laptop bag, do not carry. So just keep your charger, your Chromebook, and maybe a pencil or two. All right. See something, say something. It's an important thing that all students, all staff, paraprofessional security, it's how we keep our building safe. So if you ever see something that doesn't look quite right, if you ever hear something that doesn't sound quite right or other feel something, uh, let an adult know. We've got a whole group of adults that are help here to help. We've got a team in room 132 that can help you if you have a conflict with another student. So you got to say something to the adults, see something, say something. So today is September 11th, and I know the history classes are talking about it, but this day in history, now known as Patriot Day, uh, there was an attack on America. Four planes were hijacked and used as weapons to kill thousands of innocent Americans. The Pentagon was also attacked by one of the planes. Most notably, the Twin Towers in New York City were hit by two of the airplanes. They collapsed, and this is where now the 9-11 memorial stands in memory of all who died in those attacks. So I know you'll be talking about it in your history classes today. You probably started talking about it this week. It's a day that America and Americans will never forget. All right. And in this week in Falcon activities, all right, today's Wednesday, we got softball regional play starting. We've got baseball cross country and regional softball continuing on Thursday. We have baseball on Friday, lots of baseball. And on Saturday, we have a cross-country meet at Parkside Invite and sixth grade girls basketball over at Grant Middle School at 9 and at 10. Tuesday, next Tuesday, we're going to have a little bit of a dance party. All right. It's going to be a dance party in our new cafeteria. Our concession stand will be open. It's $5 to come to the dance. We do have some uh, expectations and criteria. So now, that was last Monday through the end of the day, September 17th, no office discipline referrals, one or few tardies, one or few buddy rooms. We'll run a list, all right, and we'll sell tickets at lunch and at the door the day of the dance. So we're excited. We've got a DJ planned. Uh, Going to have a great first dance Tuesday, September 17th. We've got a couple of dates that are here. September 24th, we've got a PTC meeting at 530. All right. The rest of those dates are all in October. We can talk about those later. What's for lunch, you might ask? We've got honey sriracha glazed chicken with a dinner roll, flat bread pizza, and of course, seasoned green beans. What's the seasoning? A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, sandwiches, wraps, all that other good stuff can always be found in our wonderful cafeteria. Okay. On to the welcoming ritual. Hmm, egg carton check-in. All right, egg cart on check-in. I'm trying to figure what we're supposed to do. I think it's supposed to be how you feel today. Are you like egg carton one, egg carton two, egg carton three, egg carton four, or egg carton five? I think that's what this one's about. So take a look. How are you feeling today? Your attendance matters every day. It's important for you to be here. Not going to repeat the stats on missing two days and four days, but we still have over 280 students that have perfect attendance. And speaking about perfect attendance, we'll have a reward, some rewards throughout the, the school year, 
and an award at the end of the year uh, at the at our honors night. That's all the way in May, though. All right, let's talk weather. Looks like today is going to be high of 93, hot, all right, followed by a little bit cooler tomorrow. So let's make sure, you know, we're not doing too strenuous of activities outside. Uh, it's going to be a little bit hotter today, September 11th. On to the birthdays. Happy birthday, Jamaria. Happy birthday, Wyatt. All right. And as we prepare for a productive day, let us observe a moment of silence. Now let us rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There are those wonderful skills for a successful day. Do we come in with a great attitude? Are we in dress code? Are we bringing those supplies every day? School supplies, books, notes, classwork, Chromebook, Chromebook charger. Really helps if that Chromebook's charged up. Take that home every night, charge it up. And are we doing our assignments? Are we handing them in? Are we clicking submit? And if we do those things consistently, we will be on the way to being college and career ready. All right, Franklin Middle School staff and students, we want everybody to have a great day. And remember... It's all about choices. Read, write, respond, relate. Yep, it's our focus.